Smartphones haven't really changed much in its form factor for a long time. We are so used to it a rectangle slab which keeps getting bigger and bigger every single year with more hardware features and better cameras. Companies are trying a different form factors to push in the market, but when it comes to a form factor which really has the potential to become our next choice as of a smartphone, Samsung is leading the way with their Galaxy Fold devices. The first generation foldable smartphone was far from perfect, but Samsung was able to make it work pretty well. Samsung is expected to bring the successor to the Galaxy Fold device and today in this video I'll let you know everything we got to know so far about the Galaxy Fold 2 that has been leaked to the world. It is expected that Samsung will stick to the bokeh style vertical fold like the original Galaxy Fold. Given the larger design of this phone com tablet, there have been rumors of having an integrated S Pen, an accessory that complements Samsung's Note series. Rumors from Max Wayne Back suggest that there will be a stainless steel and ceramic version. We are assuming that there will be a regular aluminum and glass versions as well. It's safe to come in blue, silver, gold, pink and black colors. Samsung may consider its uglier notch replacement of the next Galaxy Fold with an in-display camera but that may not happen just yet and there might be a punch hole camera for taking selfies. CEO of Display Supply Chain Consultant, Ross Young claims that the main display will be a 7.59 inch OLED display with 2213 by 1689 resolution featuring 120Hz refresh rate. This leads to a slightly sharper display compared to the original with a pixel per inch measurement of 372 ppi. The main display will also use an LTPO back panel which is also used by Apple on its iPhone with AMOLED displays. Samsung is expected to use its ultra thin foldable glass which was released with the Galaxy Z Flip. Ross Young also claims that the front display will be a 60Hz 6.23 inch panel with a resolution of 2267 by 819 pixels. The resolution implies a very tall display aspect ratio which may not solve the complaints of the cramped keyboard from the original model. There are also rumors that Samsung is going to use the LTPS technology which means that it might be an LCD panel instead of AMOLED. Samsung is also likely to get rid of large bezels and features a more conventional hole punch on top to accommodate a selfie shooter. There are no trusted leaks or rumors about the hardware spec of the Galaxy Fold 2. However, we expect Samsung to use flagship grade hardware, most possibly the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 with 5G as a standard or Samsung's in-house latest Exynos processor. We can also expect the Fold 2 to feature 12GB of RAM and 512GB of storage just like last year's model. After debuting a completely 5G ready range with the S20, we expect Samsung to offer 5G on the Fold 2 as it did on the original Fold. When it comes to camera feature, the original Fold came with a total of 6 cameras and there is a good chance that the Galaxy Fold 2 could see a notable improvement to its cameras as well. Max Weinbeck claims that the Fold 2 will use Galaxy S20 Plus camera array which consists of a 12MP main sensor, a 3x optical zoom 64MP telephoto sensor, a 12MP ultrawide sensor and a time of flight camera. Last year Samsung used two selfie cameras with big notch on the inner display and this time we can expect the same but in punch hole style. Max Weinbach also says that it's even possible that the front sensor will be a sub-display camera hidden under the panel unless you're using it. Talking about batteries and charging, Samsung's S20 series came with a 25 watt charging brake right out of the box and we can expect the same for the next Fold 2. It may also come along with a faster 15 watt wireless charging on the back as well as reverse wireless charging power share feature to let you charge compatible wireless accessories or power up your friend's phone battery. Expecting a bigger battery won't be a dream as it'll be a power hungry device with its 120Hz display as well as 5G network which will require more capacity of battery but we are not sure about the sweet numbers. More on the S Pen as Max Weinbach claimed that the Note 20 won't be the only phone using Samsung's stylus. Including an S Pen with a Fold 2 makes a lot more sense considering the size of its display makes it ideal for note taking or drawing. If Samsung brings across these features for the S Pen it debuted on the Galaxy Note 10, then the Fold 2 will be able to add remote selfies and air gestures to its box of tricks, which could make it the most versatile foldable we have seen so far. Winback has also said that the Fold 2 will use a new kind of S Pen which may have some of its own unique features. Either way, that would be a great complement to the phone. So that's all we know so far. Hit the like if you like this video and share with your friends. Comment down below if you think the Galaxy Fold 2 should include the S Pen or not. Oh, one more thing, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates on the gadget leaks and rumors.